welcome back to the Scratch Add-ons YouTube channel. My name is Cool Scratcher, and in this video, we're going to be looking at everything new in Scratch Add-ons version 1.19. We're getting pretty close to 1.20, so that's exciting, I guess. But before we get into the actual video, I'd just like to let you know that we do have a Discord server. Uh, there's a pretty cool community there. Uh, there's suggestions. Um, and some of the suggestions actually make it into the add-on, so that's pretty awesome. The link is in the description down below, so if you want to join and you're 13 or above, then join. Okay, right, into the video. <laughs> if we go to the settings page, oh, whoa, 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 some things are different. So you can see that this is categorized a little bit differently. We have the feature new add-on section and the other new add-on section. All of these are new, except these feature ones are just slightly bigger than the other ones. The first add-on is paint costume by default so let's just turn this on and let's go to a project i'll just create one and name it something awesome and say i will i want to create a new sprite now what i normally do is click over here and click on the paint but that is kind of exhausting and sometimes you'd forget and you'd end up clicking here which would send you to this which is not usually what most people want to do um the scratch team just enforces that but with this add-on enabled, if we click over here, it automatically creates a new sprite. And as you can see, we can do whatever we want with it. It's a sprite. So yeah, that just changes the default action of this button over here. Next up is name scripts before placing the backpack or after it's, I mean, this add-on has not made up its mind, but let's just turn this on and let's make a script. I don't know. So uh, let's make a very, very advanced script here. And as you can see, I made a really, really advanced script. So I'm just gonna drag this into the backpack and whoa, name the script. What, this is an option? Well, yes it is. All right, I'll just name this uh, and click okay. And as you can see, we see the name, well, part of the name, but we do see the name, we know what it is, hopefully. Yeah, and this is actually like stored in Scratch's servers. So even if we like turn off the add-on or uninstall Scratch add-ons, it, it'll, it'll still be here like, like the name will still stay because it's stored on Scratch's servers. So yeah. A downside to this though, is that you cannot really rename scripts while they're in the backpack. There's no real way to do that other than deleting it. And so yeah. <laughs> Next up is the hide delete button add-on, which by the way, was actually suggested by this person over here and on the discord server. So you can see that they, they suggested it and it actually got into the extension. So. Yeah. Anyways, it's pretty obvious what this does. It does this, so it just removes the delete button. To delete the sprites, costumes, or backdrops, you just have to right click and select delete. This fourth one is kind of a doozy. It is do not automatically space overlapping scripts. And what this does is, well, as you can see on screen right now, you can see <laughs> that uh, that's what Scratch does normally, but this add-on actually fixes that. So you can drag blocks wherever you want without the other block like running away from the block. So that's pretty cool. Next up is the hide project. Why is that there? No, go away. Next up is the hide project stats add-on. <laughs> Next up is the hide project stats add-on. And this is pretty obvious. It just hides project stats. You can see here a certain project has these stats not showing off at all, but with this add-on enabled, uh, no, not that one, this one, uh, you can see, whoa, where'd all of that go? So you can see that the views, the loves, whatever the heck they're called, all that is gone. Yeah, if you want to hide your project stats, then well, this exists. Next up is the show user ID. You can see that this ID is here. If you want to access user's ID, I don't know for what, but if you want to, then well, this exists. Not sure for what, but if you do want to, then yeah, this this is here. Next up is 3.0 scratch blocks on forums. So if I head to the official scratch blocks testing topic, you can see that, whoa, take a look at this. So this is no longer 2.0, this is 3.0. I will definitely have this enabled since I do not feel like I'm stuck in the past. Uh, don't hate on me for this, but I actually kind of like 3.0's design better than 2.0. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get hate from that. I'm just gonna stop talking. Next is also for the forums and that is more forum toolbar buttons. So if I head to the suggestions forum and I create a new topic, I'm not actually gonna suggest anything, but if I click over here, you can see that there's this option for a color and this wasn't here before, this is all new. And say I want a red color and say I want a blue color and say I want a purple color. So now if I click on the preview, you can see that all of this actually works. Actually, I wanna try something. Hey, okay, that actually works. Oh, what, what other color combinations are there? 
next up is copy code button on forums. So here you can see that there's some thingies and I'm not even too sure what this language, I feel like it's Python. Uh, and you can click copy code and then you can paste it as much as you want. So you can see that here if someone pastes, um, copies, what? If somebody puts code over here, you can actually copy it and then paste it wherever you want. I could paste it here. I could do this. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Sorry, I'm a bit excited. The Turbo War button add-on actually has a new feature, but if you click replace player, we have this option to enable add-ons. I have the pause button add-on enabled, as you can see. If I click on the Turbo War button, what do you know, the pause button is still here. And actually, if I turn this off, you can see that the, uh, the add-ons do not carry across. In the last video, I pointed out that the editor dark mode and <clears throat> customizable colors actually has this option to change the costume editor background but now this is toggleable so if you don't want this to be here then you can toggle this you know for nine new add-ons and three new features uh that was pretty short if i do say so myself it might be long i do not have an excellent sense of time but yes we're back on the screen which means that it is the end of this video if you enjoyed the video like the video subscribe to the channel not the video join the discord server that brings us to the end of this video i'm cool scratcher and bye bye